Now, I've always come across this um, common question, uh, particularly when um, I'm trying to advise or persuade um, a contact on a particular property, and they feel that price is too expensive because um, they are buying an estate or they are buying from a real estate company. And then uh, the common response is that I can just go directly to the family or just find someone that wants to sell a property around that area and just buy directly from the community and buy it far, far, far away cheaper. So in this episode of Meet the Property Guy, uh, we'll be looking at is it really safe to buy a property um, from a family here in Lagos? Is it actually safe? Is it actually better? Is it actually cheaper? As most people always thought that okay, if I buy from me, find just find one individual I want to sell. At least I'm going to buy it cheaper. Is it actually cheaper? So, and that's what we'll be analyzing in this particular episode of Meet the Property Guy. So, if you are coming across a video like this for the first time, this um, Meet the Property Guy property channel, and this where we discuss everything real estate for those who want to buy, invest, or sell a property here in Lagos or even Nigeria entirely. We share tips, guides, and advice on what to look out for, the different documentation, the different risk, and just a lot of a lot of a lot of things that you need to know if you want to venture into the real estate market or the property market so after watching this particular um topic this particular video you can go to our previous episodes previous videos the other topics i've covered about real estate companies the other topics i've covered about property documents shortlets and so on and so forth you are going to really learn a lot from a lot more than 30 of our previous um videos so let's go into the topic is it really better to buy a property directly from the community or directly from the um, family here in Lagos. Now, firstly, as a real estate consultant, um, I concur and I agree 100% that buying a property inside an estate or buying a property from a real estate company is usually more expensive. If a land in an estate is selling for less than 1 million or 1.5 million per plot, trust me, if you are buying directly from the community or from the family in that area, per plot, you'll be getting it at maybe 800 or 750k. And if you are buying in acres, you can definitely get that land around like maybe 400 or 500k per plot, which is like almost the same price that real estate companies, they also bought it from the family or from the community. So in a lot of cases and a lot of scenarios, once you are buying directly from an individual or from a family, you are definitely going to be buying it cheaper. But now, let's analyze it. Most times, or all real estate companies here in Lagos, they are all selling property for a profit because they are into that business. They are going to pay the commission to the agent, definitely. Uh, they also have to pay tax. They also have to pay the government in terms of documentation, raising the survey, doing the CFO, and, and, and all, all, all those. And there are also other expenses that they also have to take care of also declaring the management of the estate, development, infrastructures, and so on. And most of all these doesn't really come up when you want to buy directly from the family or from what when you want to buy from the community. But as usual, most times here in Nigeria, we always look at things on the surface. We don't go deeper. We don't analyze deeper. And that's why it's always very easy for us to go into something and realize that, oh, I just got hooked. Now, if you are buying a property from a family or directly from the community, there are some things that you need to consider or you need to also add to your plans. Now, firstly, if you are buying a property from a family or from a community, definitely you'll be using an agent. There will be someone that will be taking you to, to the ballet or to the um, family head or to whoever that wants to sell that property. That's your agent. You are going to pay an agency fee. For land, it's 10%. So that land that you want to buy is 5 million. That's 500k already for agents. Now, secondly, you are going to pay a surveyor, except you want to jeopardize yourself. After you have bought that property, even before you buy that property, a surveyor should go there and shut the land to ensure that your money lays or the buyer is not selling a property that is a government land. So they shut the land, they confirm the status of the land, that the land falls within the village exition or falls within the village gazette or the family gazette. Now, after that, you need to engage a, so, uh, a lawyer 
It's of you charge you around maybe 50k or 40k, depending on where that property is location, located. Because they have to go and shut that coordinate on the site, on the property itself. Now, thirdly, you need to engage a lawyer. A lawyer will have to check that property in terms of the history of the family. Do they actually have a right to sell that property? Is the land not in dispute between two families or between two communities where one community is selling but another um, community or another family have already lodged a court suit on that property telling them that that land belongs to them so if there's a dispute on that property a lawyer can get that for you you can verify that for you if that property has a litigation case a court case a lawyer can get that for you if that property have already been willed to someone else someone have willed that property to someone to another person a lawyer can verify and get that for you if the property has a cfo the lawyer can also check if there is any mortgage on that cfo that means if um that cfo have already been used to obtain maybe a mortgage loan or a financial loan from any bank or from any mortgage bank a lawyer can also check that for you so you are going to engage a lawyer after the pre sale period which is before you buy after you have bought also a lawyer will still come in to draft the deed of assignment transferring ownership to you so likely for a property of five million you are going to be paying the lawyer around maybe two hundred or two fifty thousand for both verifying before purchase and then getting the deed you are going to pay a surveyor to do to draw the survey plan after you have bought it to map out the beginning and then do a survey plan either it's provisional survey plan or uh, registered survey plan that's likely maybe another 150,000 or 200,000 or even more depending on the location of that property if you are doing a survey plan now in Etiosa, Chevron, Ikota, Oshid, Ikati, like if it's one no survey that is less than 1 million nobody will do a survey for you there less than 1 million so it depends on the location so let's just assume in this case you do a survey 150k they are adding it to 500k for agency, 250k for the lawyer, 50k for the survey office to check the land. Then 150k to do the survey, uh, provisional survey plan. That's 200k for survey or two. They are adding those fees. Over. Now, you've bought the property and then you want to start development. Definitely you are going to pay fees. See, you can't avoid this. You can't. That's why I, I always tell people. Let's say company might be charging you for these other fees, survey, development levy, and so on and so forth. If you buy from a community or from a farm, you are going to pay these fees too. The difference is just that this time around you are not paying the company, you are paying to your family or you are paying to individ individuals direct. But you are going to pay it. You are going to always pay more than just buying the land. That's just it. So the families are going to charge you to develop the property. Even the moment that you start bringing in trucks, maybe trucks of block or cement or sand, they will start already harassing those people that are coming already. So you have to pay. And finally, you can even pay two to three different parties. When you want to do foundation or you want to um, supply materials to your site, you will pay. Not to even add that any material that you are, so, you are supplying there is on your own. You can come the next day and they are taking out your bag of cement. <laughs> now it's very common anyway. Now at the roofing stage, you will pay. So eventually you are still going to pay around like maybe 500 to 600 K to sort all these uh, extra billing and extra levies for you to finish that property. Now by the time you finish that property, you, once you want to connect light, you will pay CDA. You pay the community development association. You will pay them before you can connect light. So places in Lagos that are charging 500 k, even around the Kudu, that are charging 500 k to connect lights. Because they will tell you that they are the one that brought in the poles, do the transformer, they do drainage, they grade the wood, they do this. They are going to collect those money from you. So the one the development levy that you want to pay, you don't want to pay a real estate company. You will pay CDA. You pay it to CDA. They will collect it. You can't collect the lights for free. Me too. It has happened to me. The, the time I was building a house, I was building a, building a house for my mom. They did not allow me to collect it. I, I actually have to get rent ladder three times. Three times before i was able to connect light so and i paid so you today you will collect it there's nothing you are going to do they will, before you can connect like they will pay you have to pay it so you pay cda for development levy it varies based on the area that you are um, you are developing that property 
So eventually, you see that you are, you are going to realize that you are going to spend around like maybe two million extra, apart from the five million that you bought the land. Even if even if not more, you understand? You spend around two million. So buying from um, a family or buying directly from the community is cheaper at the beginning. But the moment you start developing that property, you are going to realize that you are also going to spend more on it. Now, they have their pros and cons. Buying from a family or buying directly from the community, you are going to get your allocation faster. That one is certain. Because the moment you pay for your land, some of you can get your uh, put beak in there almost immediately. So they will give you your land almost immediately. The problem is that the land they are allocating for you, they might have sold it for someone else and they give you. Or after they allocate it from you, for, uh, to you, they can come next month again and allocate it for someone else. <laughs> that one is very, very common. But you get your allocation instantly. So what will now happen after they have allocated for you, I can't guarantee. But they will allocate your land for you. Which is like the biggest challenge a lot of people have with real estate companies which may take like two months three months before they're going to allocate your plot or a property for you now but the advantage with buying from a real estate company is that the problem you are going to have with a real estate company is delay in allocation but once a real estate company allocates a property for you they will never be sell it to someone else or they will never allocate the property that they have allocated to someone else to you it's very it's like that one is almost certain because each allocation comes with a deed of assignment and a survey so the allocation that the related company is giving you is guaranteed is 100 percent guaranteed you can come one year time two years time three years time you are going to see your plot there but that is not guaranteed when you are buying a family property or a community property so that land they might have even allocated it for two or three people before you before they give you so it's just the fastest finger, the first person to build there or to allocate um, or to develop or to do things is better than owns the land. So <laughs> after they allocate you, you might come later and sell that person as uh, uh, supplied granite to the land that you just paid for three months ago. That, that one is very, very common. So they all have their pros and cons. They all have, have their pros and cons. Where the estate companies are going to do most of the documentation um headaches for you the deed the survey whatever perfection they want to do with the government too if you are buying from the community or the family all is on you because you don't want to pay survey of three hundred thousand or two hundred thousand you go and get a survey that you are going to pay one hundred thousand down to do a quack survey for you it's very see this like nigeria eh? i like nigeria for one thing you can always get something cheaper but what's just guaranteed is that you are not going to get what you paid for. You are not going to get, get value for it. So someone else paid a survey of 300000 to get a survey plan. You, you go and find a survey that you paid 50000 or 80000 And you expect that both of them should give you the right survey or they should give you... It should be survey is survey. Yeah, you know too now that survey is survey. When they do mistake in the coordinates that they are supposed to put there or the land is 500 square meter, they go and put 540 square meter on the survey plan for you. They enlarge the land more than what is there. That's when you know. And then your architects go and draw a building design or a building plan based on 540 square meter. Only for them to get to the site and they already started foundation to realize that the land is 500 square meter. That's when you know why you have gone and paid the quack. So you always have to be careful about the kind of professionals you are giving your job to. The kind of surveyors you are giving your jobs to. The kind of lawyers you are giving your job to. These people are expensive. Pay them. They can't charge you the same amount you buy the land. Is a lawyer cannot you can't buy a land five million and a lawyer will charge you five million for documentation. No, you can't buy a land five million and a survey will charge you five million. So what they are going to charge you is even most times less than ten percent of what you are paid to buy that property. So pay them. Just ensure that you get professional and quality service for what you are uh, you are paying for. That's just the most important thing. So these are the things that you need to look out for when you are buying directly from a family or you are buying from your community so we have to do a pre-check for you a lawyer have to do a pre-check for you a lawyer have to draft the documentation the contract of sale or do your assignment to transfer ownership to you and then also you also need to also integrate all these other fees that you are going to pay 
what are going to pay the CD, what are going to pay for uh, foundation, for supplying granite, whatever that you have to pay there, you, you have to also integrate all those amounts in it. See, if you are not in the country and you don't have time, you don't have time, don't buy family land or don't buy community land. See, they are going to stress you. And this one, I'm saying it from experience, I, because this is what I've done too before. Eh? I'll be at the office, they'll call me. Eh, eh, the family, they no, they not allow them to connect the light to, they say we have not paid so, so amount, but we have paid 50% 50, 50 of it. No, they say they want to collect the 100% before we connect the light to, we connect the light again, they go and remove it. <laughs> so this, all these things are very common. They are very common. You can pay for a gran, for granite, and then granite people will be coming, and the boys will stop them on the road, that they can't, they can't go to your site. And they can't go, they can't go. When the Ghana people see that they have disturbed you, they, they will turn back. They either give you your money back or they're going to come and supply another day. So easy, they can frustrate that project for you very, very easily. So these are the things that you also need to consider, put in plans before you decide, okay, let me buy from a family or let me buy inside an estate. Now, I know the Lagos government have done a lot of regulations, a lot of laws about our money less, about hoodlums, about talks coming to people's property, damaging people's property, you know, creating havoc, creating threats on people's property. But in this Lagos, he <laughs> can't stop. You just forget it. In this Lagos, he can't stop. If they see that you are trying to uh, be law enforcement or whatever, they will come with the night. They will come with the night and they can even like just damage that property for you they'll just frustrate that entire project for you so <laughs> these Lagos are <laughs> you give what 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 is for what is to Caesar to, uh, for Caesar so so that is basically um if you are considering should I buy inside an estate or buy from real estate companies or just go directly to a family or go buy directly to a community and buy you just need to weigh the pros and cons you need to weigh the pros and cons if you buy inside an estate you pay for survey if you buy from a family you pay for survey too if you buy inside an estate you pay for deed. if you buy from a family you pay for deed too if you buy inside an estate you pay development levy if you buy from a family or community you will pay cda you pay cda too now on two is there you pay cda you can't you can't escape it and you pay the ballet or the uh, the people there the family or whatever you pay them levies levies to develop that property you pay it even fence if you want to do fence you pay you pay levy so just that these things as, as long as you have someone who is savvy you know who is savvy there are people that can handle that can handle them and that's why real estate companies are thriving because they have done and do or moneyless and do families not once not twice not twice not so they know the tactics to use with them once they come blah, 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 they know how to sort them and a lot of these real estate companies also know the ballets, know top, top, top people. So there are no people that can use to threaten them. So, but you, you don't know any top people, you don't know any people that you can threaten with. You are buying property for family. <laughs> it is what it is anyway. So this, these are just, we all in Lagos. So these are just the pros and cons. Um, and you can decide if you have the mind, you have the time, you have the influence for you to buy that from the family and buy from the community and develop your property or you don't have the time you are jj you don't have the time you just want to with your small money just want to develop what you can develop jj and put your family or just invest so you just better you just go for an estate company sincerely so as even your mobile party the planet your party advisor your party consultant rabbi mustafa thanks once again for watching this watching our video and don't forget don't forget to give us a thumb like i'm just trying to you know spice up my content you don't look too serious you know <laughs> a lot of the things i say are very harsh so i don't want to be saying it in a very very harsh way so i want to be spicing this up with some smiles so <laughs> so i don't get scared so uh, if, if you find this you find this very interesting kindly give us a thumb like and also um subscribe to our to our channel so i don't miss any any of our very fantastic videos that are coming thanks and see you once again